Hi, it's me again. I haven't connected with you since our in service on May 15th. And two weeks have gone by, two weeks that have been extremely busy. Um, and I'm glad to um, reconnect with you and, and just share a few updates and a few words. As you know, on Monday, June the 8th, we are reopening our doors and welcoming uh, children back into our, our classrooms. Uh, we made the decision to delay the start of our reopening by a week so we could take the time to ensure that all the protocols were in place, that everybody was aware of what was needed, that we had the supplies um, in order to implement the protocols, that we had the opportunity to accurately and communicate with, with families about um, the new environment. Uh, we know that coming back to our classrooms is going to look a little bit different for for children and families. Um, obviously, we'll have smaller settings and um, procedures that are new and, and different. So I want to thank you for um, the time that you're taking to prepare the environment and to learn the new procedures. It is so important that we all follow them um, to a T, that uh, we stay on top of them, um, that we remind each other if uh, there's a step that we have forgotten. Um, I know that you know wearing masks is a, a new habit and it's easy to forget when you have to put them on and, and take them off. So I, I know that gentle reminders will be appreciated. Um, and uh, we're all in this together. The plan that we've put in place is strong. It has been developed with assistance from public officials and that are experts in, um, in, in healthcare and um, guidance from the CDC. We've been in close contact with them. And um, I feel strongly about the steps and the procedures that we've put in place. So now it's up to us to implement them and to be very thorough and conscientious. Uh, with all of the steps that uh, need to be part of our our new world, at least for a little while. So um, I think it's normal to be a little bit anxious and a little bit scared, but um, I'm confident that our preventive, preventative measures are strong and um, are good safety practices that will, will help in the situation that we're in. So excited to see little kids um, coming into the classrooms and uh, being part of our work. I am very proud to be um, with all of you to be part of uh, this organization, especially today more so than ever. Um, it's um, an honor to uh, be with a group of people that stand for uh, treating people with dignity, with respect, um, with compassion um, and honesty. Uh, today, more so than ever, uh, it, it feels good to be uh, with individuals that honor that, that live that, that walk that talk um, when we know that is not the same reality in, in other settings. So thank you for all you do every day. Thank you for being part of a Head Start community. Um, that again um, cares about individuals regardless of um, their background, their race, and um, respects every human being for who they are um, and honors, um, you know, um, people for um, with respect and, and with the dignity that every human being re deserves. So. And I'm proud to be uh, among individuals that feel the same way I do. Um, good luck on Monday. I know it'll be a, it's a big day. Um, it's going to be a great day. We're going to learn from it. If there are some adjustments that need to be made, we will. Um, flexibility is key. And I know that you've, been, you've shown an incredible amount of flexibility. Um, so I'm I'm feeling good about uh, this next big step for us. So keep up the great work. If you need anything, um, do not hesitate to call and to um, let us know what is on your mind and any ideas that you may have. Take care. Bye-bye.